Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and welcome back in another exciting video on the channel. So today we have another new tool that can help you to do the open menu FMI off in one click. It's a very easy tool and works on any iPhones, iPad or iPod Touch running on the latest iOS 17.4.1 and lower. You can do that. You just need an eligible device for the open menu process and that's all. You are good to go. So we will discuss each and and everything in this video like how you can check your devices supported or not and then how you can do the open menu fmi off and this method also do not require any itunes backup or 3 tools backup or you don't have to find any pet token from the elcom soft so it's very much easy tool so now let's check the eligibility criteria of the open menu go to the settings then go to the id now next click on the icloud now you have to check the iCloud storage, it must showing, if it's not showing then it's not eligible and not supported, if it's showing then good. The other thing you have to check the game center, you can check the game center and turn it off and on very easily without asking the password. If it's ok and you can easily turn it on or off then good, if it's not then not eligible. So in my case you can see the iCloud storage is showing and I can easily turn it on and off game center. So these are supported. So now we have checked both the things. Next we can proceed further to the system so that we can do the further steps. Alright now first you need to download this HFZ open menu tool. This is the latest tool that can help you to do the open menu FMI off in a one click. And to download this file you have to visit the description. You will get my blog link. You can easily download it from there. You just have to click on this link and you can just download the zip file. If the new version come in the future you can download the latest version. For now the 2.0 version is latest. Also you will require the free iCloud checker that is the iFree iCloud. You can just google it and you will get it. Now next just extract the file using the WinRAR. Now just open it and launch the exe file. Now here is the tool interface you will see your device model, serial number, iOS version, UDID and some steps. So these are some common steps to perform the open menu from this tool. So we have already checked all these things earlier so we can move further directly to do the process. You also need to register your UDID in server in order to use the tool. So let me just show you how you can register it. You just need to copy your UDID from the 3U tools and you have to send me the UDID of your device to my telegram. For the prices and other information you can contact me there I will share it. After the registration you can instantly use the tool. Now connect your device. Now if it asks for the trust, just click on trust on the device and OK. Now your device detail will show on the tool. It will display all the information like serial number, model number, iOS version, also the UDID that you can copy it for the registration or you can copy it from the 3U tools. Both are similar. Now next before you click on turn off FMA off you have to go to the settings then iCloud then you have to turn off the game center and on it again once so that the token will be generated automatically and then you have to put your device into the airplane flight mode so that all the outgoing and incoming connection will be closed and the Wi-Fi must be off. So now I have done the turn off and on once. Now put the device into the flight mode and Wi-Fi is off. And if there is any SIM card inserted you can just remove it and then you can do that process. Now next click on the turn off FMI from the tool. Now just wait for it to get complete. Now we have done that so just click on OK and proceed. Now it will take some time depending on how much data you have in the iCloud backup. So just wait for it to get complete and if your backup is big and there are lots of data it's recommended to delete some photos, videos or apps that will take much data so that the backup will be created less and fast. So just wait for it to get complete. Let me just fix the camera angle so that you can see all the progress. Thank you. 
now it's done you will see the success message and code number 200 that means it's done and you will see all the connected devices it may be one two depending on how much devices is connected with the id so it's off now before we proceed for the flashing or erasing the device you have to double confirm your fmi on or off status you can use any checker you want just copy your serial number or imei and just head over to that free checker website and search it let me just show you how So now you can see the find my phone status is off and it's confirmed the complete removal. So now we are ready for the complete restore of the device. You can use iTunes DFU restore or you can use 3U tools quick flash mode. You just need to download your latest IPSW software file and select the quick flash mode and click on flash. You can download the software file directly from the 3U tools or visit the IPSW.me website and you can download the latest file according to your model. Now next proceed for the flash and make sure do not turn on the Wi-Fi. Just stay on the flight mode and just restore your device. Now the flashing is done, now simply set up the device. So you can see that we are on our data and privacy page, it's done. Now simply set up to the home screen. Now welcome to the iPhone and it's completely unlocked and you can see that everything looks good. There is no Apple ID bound in the setting. We have successfully unlocked our device. And it's in permanent unlock like a new iPhone. So you can also try it if you have a supported eligible open menu devices. For the registration you can contact me with your UDID and send it to me on my personal telegram. And after that I will register it. So that is all for today's video session. I will see you in another video. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.